What's going on everybody? My name is Vidar Vapor and welcome to the today's video. Today we're gonna be playing some more Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice and I almost said that wrong. Last time we did a bunch of puzzles because that's the most of this game is it's puzzles. And then our sword broke. Bro, no, it's broken. And now we're about to embark on the journey to fix the sword. Because we don't have a sword, and I'm kind of fucking scared that shit's gonna go south, and we're gonna have to fight shit with like our deadly good looks, because Sunny was gorgeous. Uh, anyway, be sure to check out my other social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Player. Links will be down below in the description. If you enjoy what you see, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. It's very much appreciated, and let me say in advance welcome to the Vidarmi. I would really love it if you guys could subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am currently striving for 100 subscribers to set a custom URL to YouTube. I have a bunch of content already uploaded and scheduled to release as of right now, daily at 12 p.m. EST. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. I know what that is, though. That's what I want right there. Do I have this one? No, I didn't have this one either. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hole. King burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out, but only to tell him the truth. That she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from her heart, Senua. As there is always a heavy price to pay. There's four. Four more. Hopefully I can find them. Otherwise I'm gonna have to do a third playthrough. <laughs> In the hopes of finding it. Oh, there's another one there. That one I probably have though. I don't know though, because I did that one that I just got seemed pretty obvious, and I didn't have that one. No, oh, I do have this one. Death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. What happens? Now this is the start, I think. Well, that's into the tree. I just got that one. Does this lead up into the tree as well? Yeah, this also leads up and into the tree. Okay. Let's do it.
happening? Senua, imagine a sword that can slay gods. Gamir. Gamer. Its name is Grammar. Grammar. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It's truth. It is said, a great warrior can reforge Grammar by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shaft. Go to the shaft. Go to the shaft. Go to the shaft. Find it. Let's do this one first. <sighs> and I know one of these really sucks. God of the Northmen, Baldur. Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods. Okay, it's this one. Phew, okay. I'm okay with this. There's one that I'm dreading. And if there's any of the things in there that I need to gather, I'm not going to be able to get them. That's what I thought. Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Hmm, I like this story. Opens on the other side too. He's waiting for you. No, it's Stop. chained. He so it'll just be loves. open at night. He loves you. Holding you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. We're nearly here. Look into the mask, Senua.
Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go for him. Before he disappears. Dillian, don't where is he? Where has he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. How did I not get this one last time? Black and white. It's so obvious that it's right there. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. And Seno explored new paths into the unknown. Over his face, so that its venom would drip onto him. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down, and turned these bonds to iron, and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face, so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps. But if even the gods must accept death, then so must we. Okay. Sound in this game fucks me so hard. So do my allergies. The door open. Yeah, I was gonna say if I didn't have this the one. Gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur. Striking him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Better have this one too. Okay, good. You have no chance for love. No. Nobody will love you again. Loki makes a shot mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth. Huth. Loki asks him why he wasn't taken for. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. 
and Hurd throws the mistletoe at Balder. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Balder is killed. And for this, Hurd is slain. Is slain. has claimed Dillian. Poor Dillian. He didn't know. He was kind. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend. Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns. Shapes. Doopa doopa doo. for a giant to She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. <clears throat> when Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief. She dies. She's put next to her husband and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, Da, 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 da. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Oh, asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. 
The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giant ass they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giant ass must have been Loki in disguise. That Loki bastard. Do you remember him whispering in your ear? I hate these, I hate these, I hate these, I hate these. Nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, Kev. No, she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Simon. Whew. Poor Senua. Senua. Your father cannot understand the darkness. He's real life too, he's not CGI. No one can. Father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea what the night looks like. What dark the end means a little as bright light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful arm? You only be rid of your night. The price you pay for the gift you have. The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. It's one trial down. To protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry. Excuse me. It's probably this one, the one I'm dreading. Give his eye in exchange for a oh, yep, that's this as one. well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, 
There can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive the return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Oh, this is one, this one fucks me so hard. Fuck this one, fuck this one, fuck this one. Can you see me? Help me. Breathe first. Stay still. I hate this one. The voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. It's so dark. It's okay. Listen to you on the breath. Let rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything. Scare that fucking chair scared the shit out of me. This is not okay. I don't even know if I can keep going. Oh fuck! It hasn't even gotten to the bad part yet. Fuck, fuck. Fuck you. I think I'm somewhere else now. The breeze has gone. Use all of my senses. Inside of it, it won't let me go. So, my father, he told me the heart of this battle is a full of life, not the soul. And you can prove that to me in the morning, child. Fuck. This isn't for that. 
Fuck. My heart's beating so fast. Oh my gosh. This is where it gets fucked. Fuck. Oh my god. <sighs> That's just the beginning. I hate this, I hate this. Hopefully there's no things to find in here because I'm not looking for them.
Fuck me. This part so much. That scared the shit out of me, fucking Garos. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Why do you have to go in the well? Oh, I love this part. Can't tell if that one's moving or not. Oh my gosh. My fucking arms are fucking sh sh tremoring. Look at the friggin' dust on the screen, eh? With the fucking lens flares. That's a cool little f attention to detail. I sure hope they really didn't put any collectibles in here, because I didn't go looking for them. I probably never will.
And that's the end of this episode, guys. Tune in tomorrow for the next one. They're a little bit shorter than I usually do because I'm going to be splitting it up almost like per boss rather than like as close to the two hour mark as I can because I figure it's kind of silly to like cut it in the middle of a puzzle so I'm just gonna make each episode like each puzzle sort of deal but I want to thank everyone for stopping in I really appreciate each and every one of you be sure to check out my social media Facebook Twitter Instagram YouTube player they'll be in the description um, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe and hit the notification bell and any and all comments that you guys leave on this video you guys make this worthwhile you are the stars of this show not sure what time it is for you so good morning good afternoon good evening and good night much love and march on for the army